Hello everyone, Dylan here, and happy Throwback Thursday. And today, so which is the, leads to a Star Wars review in the rotation. And today, so which is on the Imperial Shuttle from 2001 and Jedi Starfire from 2002. So, for a little first look at Imperial Shuttle, so which is the that border that we've seen since 1999, and is which was the last time of that, but. Big large Lego logo and set number seven one six six and see the set near the star star destroyer and a few mini things down there and on the back is ad for the Lego Technic sets and droid power and be part of the Lego community which of course is a true thing and for a lot of the sets ranging from 1999 through 2001. And then the last steps, and of course, those green caps of the movies. And then for Jedi Starfire, it meant for ages 8 through 12, and set number 7143, and see the set in action and above Geodosis, and also that war that they did from 2002 until 2004, of course. And on the back, add for the LEGO Star Wars website. Uh, for some other sets from the time. Also there. And saying attack the clones, of course. And then last steps. So, first of all, for the main fix, the first we get is an Imperial Pilot or Ox or whatever one. Well, the torso print are uh, quite basic, but all right, and no leg prints. And as for the face print, and also the cap piece, kind of common of some older town sets, and as well as the uh, Naboo guards. And no back torso print since it's an older figure, of course. <coughs> and next to it is the first time of Emperor Palpatine, and who. Hmm. It does look kind of the same as from the like uh, final duel one set, but as you can see, it has like holding a rod for a cane and his the, the face print of which done quite good, but also good torso print and but no like prints and no double sided face nor back torso prints. It's an older figure and. And like a lot of older figures, the cape that is a thicker cloth material. And also, first time also of having the Emperor Royal Guards. And as the thick mask piece of which still carried on to this day. And I think everything else of it stayed the same over time. And also the red kinks. But this one, no back torso print. But at least they kind of did add back torso print over time. And also plain black head. And also black spear, which also carried on over time. And the only one for Jedi Starfire is uh, Attack of the Clones version of Obi Wan Kenobi. Well, the torso print of which about kind of the same as from a few other sets at the time, and also a different exclusive face print, which is kind of the same as that, but with a con link to it. And besides that, a quite good figure, and although no light prints, and of course, wielding the blue lightsaber and chrome hilt, of course, and also binoculars when he's tracking down Jango Fett. And also, no back torso print because it's an older figure, and that is about it with the things. And now, on to the actual sets. So, first of which is Imperial Shuttle. See, this is which a pretty good version of it, at least, maybe not as much great as the like, later version. But of course, it's kind of how they went with these older sets. 
It's kind of small and not much complex. But as for the head part of which, uh, done quite similarly to the like 2007 Imperial Landing Craft. Right, but also it has some nice printing to it. Unlike with later versions where they just used multiple pieces. Although this whole build of which about similar to the 2005 version, but that which had some little playset build off to the side, but this one doesn't. But also like that version is this large tile that has some printing on it. Also some of these odd pieces, not sure what they are, but used as the gun turns. Same with the lightsaber rods. And of course, it can fold down. Also, like the other versions. But also, with that, get the like uh, cylinder pieces from the classic space lines, of course. There's an also one of those odd uh, rounded slopes there, and a few technic bits to make it get the curve effect. Yeah. See, quite good for what it is. And also this top wing of which, good use of the like, quite like big use of the big large slope pieces which you can use in various blocks and things but also some different color arrangements also like the other versions and I don't know if you can notice there but also you have this big large slope that has a vent print on it also usable in blocks and things and also from the back is also, like other versions, again, has the it's like rounded brick pieces. I was not sure why, but also do get a couple antennas here, of course. Also, has the like blue uh, grill pieces acting as the engine, but also can like one of the other features is fold this down. And then there's the little brown piece there, which you can pull out. And then it has a little uh, stand to put figures on. It's like, take your Praetorian Guard figs in, put the spear into it. And then take them. And set them next to each other. Also, the Emperor Two. I'm not sure how this is. Although it kind of damages the capes a bit, but at least that yeah, it's livable. But also. Once it's in, there's absolutely no connections for it. And also, quite a lot of blue, but it's well hidden. Well, also some green, so you probably see to indicate where for it to go. And slide it in, and it fits in good. But as with the cockpit piece, and do you have that a little tile that is supposed to be the buttons and things, and a good enough amount of space to fit your pilot minifig into it. And so now, on to with a comparison. Like, as compared to the recent 2015 version of Imperial Shuttle, and of course, this in 2015 was a hundred bucks, and uh, uh I, this I think was like, um, 40, 50 bucks at the time of release, but you can correct me in the comments. But although this oh, it is of course twice as large and also has some accessibility to it, and also seats two pilots into it. And of course, 
as the nose is like multiple pieces rather than a printed cockpit. It also doesn't have the like tile on it. And of course it does have actual lockers when this one didn't. Back part of it. So it does have the like same uh, blue effect, but although it doesn't come down like the up like this one does. So at least it's a good bit of difference to show how much better they did over time. And also doesn't have this snot technique when of course this one didn't, of course. But you know, it's an alright difference. Also about three of the big slopes rather than two. I guess that was it. Is the Imperial Shuttle one. And now, on to Jedi Starfighter. This, which was one that they never redid, well, until about 2017. Yeah. But of course, it came with a hyperdrive ring, which made it a good bit better. So, as for the front area part of it, which has some good use of these plates and also some tiles there. It has a perfect triangular shape, also like that version. And also it is not curved down. Only although you can have it curved down. Since of course it's on hinges in there. See so have a couple of those like uh, ratchet joint pieces, but acting as blasters when they don't fire or anything. <laughs> also, do have that like astromech droid headpiece, also seen in many other sets from the time. And, and of course, one side of which has the like a uh, Republic symbol and small right uh, tiling to there, and a couple of top flank like flaps for it. And also big slope pieces with some good printing to it. Also reminiscent of that. Same with the like and they do kinda match up with the slopes. So yeah, but although the slopes jet up more and uh, but it's forgivable. But also from the side is like as you see it mainly consisted of white and dark red, but with a, a bit of random light green. So you get this little uh, fin piece, which also, uh, which completely printed. Yeah. Although it can work in a, a art museum mock, I think it's an abstract concept painting or whatever. And then from the back, I see couple of wheels on the landing gear for whatever reason and they do fold them quite well. Same with this front one. But as for the cockpit part of it, it would be quite about the same as from a few other sets or they used a lot until like 2008-9. Also you get one of the Another one of those tiles there in random blue, it's probably to indicate for your figure to sit on to. And also a little bit of an empty space there, which is where to put or store Obi Wan's lightsaber in. And, oh, look, those fit in quite goodly. But sorry if the joints are kind of loose and all. Since I got used off Bricklink, of course. And so now, on to a little comparison is with the recent 2017 version of the Jazz Starfire, which also includes Hyperdrive Ring. But I'll detach it and I'll show. Let's put that aside. So, as you can see, has a lot 
of snot going on and also kind of the same but with snot and slopes of course but also not nothing in the way of landing gear except for just this one and a couple of jacket slopes there and also hi uh, so the cockpit of which also a little bit better than that and also act right droid head that turns and also did have a lot of stickers when the older version didn't and of course a couple of which were printed but it but at least this one's forgivable but also from the back is also you have those engines but the later version does have has active pieces to it but this older version has just a couple of wheels to it of course the green was actual pieces rather than as stickers so, although they could have added the like a republic so symbol on it again but at least it's forgivable also what should it should have also had it was a rounded slope with this marking on it to which this one does the good thing that there's actual stud shooters on it rather than like technically uh, joints and that. And so now on to with the final verdict on these two. <clears throat> Overall, these I think are uh, quite good sets from their time. Like, like with Imperial Shuttle, first time of having Emperor Palpatine and the Royal Guards. So plenty of exclusives to that, and also a uh, Jedi Starfire, also Obi Wan kind of exclusive to it. But although. Imperial Shuttle, of which did have plenty of stuff going on, but and Jedi Starfire, a uh, kind of it did, but didn't get to have the hyperdrive ring, well until with the 2017 version, of course. <clears throat> also, they did come with a good amount of printed pieces, is which you can kind of use for mocks if you it, well if you can try and yeah. And if you so, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and are still considering getting these, then I'd say truly go ahead and get them, like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.